Okay, so this is actually a response to a question. Actually, I received this question a couple of times in the past two weeks, which I thought I'll go ahead and shoot a video on it. So within 10 minutes, we're actually going to create a power app that's going to be a mobile app that allow you to take photos, high quality photos, and upload it to a SharePoint list. And on the surface, it once you see this in practice, you say, wow, that's pretty trivial. That's pretty straightforward. And we will be able to pull this off in 10 minutes, given my editing of my debt spaces and things like this. But as you can see in this video, uh, we're going to use the mobile phone. We're going to capture these images. We're going to save it to a SharePoint list. I'm going to do a very simple schema uh, within the SharePoint list. I think it ended up being like three columns. But as you can see, you can grow this and expand it out to something extremely cool uh, with routing and automation and things like that. Whatever your imagination can take you, you can pretty much pull it off fairly easy with very minimal effort. But let's go ahead and get started with this base solution on creating the app to capture defects within a Tesla Model X. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this came up a couple of times, and I'm actually going to shoot a quick video on how to do the best way to add images to a SharePoint list. So let's just do, I'm going to pick on one of these sub sites here because uh, you know I like to isolate my solutions in the sub site. So let's just pick on this one and let's just call this the. Um, I'm going to just call this the, and basically the, the trick is, and it's very simplistic, but sometimes it's not obvious on what, what needs to happen. The trick is to just use the attachment. So here I'm going to just use the title uh, default field, and then I'm going to grab, grab a category. So let's just call this, let's just say we're, we're taking images of the um, a vehicle that we, that we need to capture, right? So let's just say this is going to be external pictures. So I'm going to create a category called external internal and let's just say mechanics okay and then i'm gonna just make this the category very very simple i mean this is really just a two column uh list the, the key is to, is to make sure that your attachments are enabled which are going to be enabled by default so just for simplicity's sake i'm going to show the attachments field right so once you have that's done just go ahead and fire up your power app studio and this is something that we're going to create as a a canvas application. So here I just go uh, create uh, from blank and I'm going to create this for the phone and then I'm going to just say um, image capture. All right, so I have a, a pretty blank screen here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and rename this screen to screen main. And the key is, is to go ahead and bring in your data source. So let's just go ahead and add data. Let's just bring it in the SharePoint type. Go ahead and select the list, image caption. And that's going to bring it in. So now what I want to do is bring in the form component. So let's just do insert here, forms, and then I want to do an edit form component. Connect it to the data source. That's going to be my image caption data source. Once your data source is selected, it automatically comes in with title, category, and the attachments. For the layout, I'm going to just go ahead and select a theme. Keep it very generic with the theme. I just select the office gray. That's going to neutralize all my components in their color scheme. And then I can do some very light branding. So here I'll just go ahead and do give it a, a title, the logo, adjust some spacing here. Go ahead and add in a rectangle at the bottom. Again, you just remember to do the self.fill for all your other colors. So that way that helps with the flickering on these rectangles. Play around with the positioning a little bit. And really, this is all you need. So instead of calling this uh, photos, let's just go ahead and call this, um, instead of calling it attachments, let's go ahead and call it photos. And if you want, you can limit these photos to, so right now the default is max of six. If you're only capturing one attachment, you can select that. If you're doing, um, you know, maybe attachment size, you can adjust all of that here uh, within it. So I'm okay with the default six. And now you just want to add in two buttons at the bottom to help with saving the upload. Just like that, you have a quick save and cancel 
for the save, you want to go ahead and have this to submit the form. And then here, if the form is valid, then you want to exit the application. Else, uh, you want it to stay on this uh, screen, and then that will prompt them to put in all the required fields. The next thing you want to do is for the category, you probably want to make category and attachments required. So you can select the respective data card, go to the required property, and set that. All right, so once you have those set to true, you can test this out, and then click Save. Notice that it's not going to... Uh, submit or try to close the application because the invalid flag was set to false. So these are my exterior pictures. If I click attach file, it will allow me to select all of the attachments that are needed. So I can just select these one at a time. And then now that I have all the required information in, click save and it will save it to the SharePoint list. So if I go back to the SharePoint list, hit refresh, you would notice that the information is stored. There's the attachment field. If I click inside of this, all of the attachments or images that were uploaded will be right here, part of my field. Okay, so that seems to be working as expected. The next thing we want to do is uh, to click cancel. And then on this one, we can just go ahead and have them exit the application. And that's going to be the cancel button. All right, so now that this is all set, uh, let's just go ahead and save this off. So we want to go ahead and save this maybe change the icon by going under settings and then you can modify the icon. So now I have a, a photo or a camera icon and I got the in, image caption. Right, so I'm saying I'm gonna use this to capture uh, any photos of production defects on the vehicle. And now this is all said and done. We can just go ahead and save it. All right, so now this is saving. Uh, we can now fire this up on our phone and use it as, as needed. So here we are on the phone, and now I can navigate over to Power Apps, and then I can launch the image caption app. And then once this is loaded, I can actually use voice to text here and type in or speak um, the defect. So here's gonna be the defect for the Model X, select the category, click attachments, and now I can notice the options. I can either take a photo, choose from the photo gallery, or browse any other file on the device. This is one time setup, granted access. And then once I have that, I can now go to the vehicle and then capture images. Just go ahead and click the check mark. And this is just gonna add that image that was just captured uh, to the app. I can do this, I can repeat this process as many times as needed. So here I am again on the rear passenger side, take a photo of the defect, and then go ahead and upload it to the SharePoint list. So let's just grab one more of this headrest, go ahead and capture that, and then just upload that to the SharePoint list. So now I click the save button. As long as I pass all the validation, it will take all the information plus the images and save it to the SharePoint list. So now that we captured all the images, we can go back to our SharePoint list, click on enter your defects by Model X, and then all the images that were captured will be available here in the attachments field. So just like that, very quickly, you can spin up these applications using Power Apps and couple with a SharePoint list. And this gives you a lot of bandwidth, a lot of storage, a lot of room space to uh, create these applications to all these images. Obviously, you can add additional columns. You can add a description column if needed. You can add another inspector uh, person column to capture the inspector or the person who uh, maybe are reviewing these images. Uh, you can put statuses on them. You can put, build a power automate to route it to different organizations, default uh, defect committees, uh, maybe one for seats, maybe one for carpet, maybe one for the glass, the exterior doors, the falcon doors, wherever the case may be, based on different categories, you can route these and get very elaborate with this at, with very, very minimum effort. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. And uh, again, just show, showcasing the power of the power platform and all the cool things that you can do um, as long as you put your imagination to it.